So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Coco Annotator. It's a web-based annotation tool designed for creating data sets in the Coco format. It offers many advanced features compared to its competitors. Um, you're able to do both segmentation, bounding boxes, and key points. Uh, and it also comes with some advanced tooling such as Deep Extreme Cut and Mask RCNN. First, we'll start off by installing the tool, and then we'll take a look at how you can use it to speed up your annotation process. So let's get started with the prerequisites to setting up Cocoa Annotator. I'm gonna be running this on Ubuntu 20. Uh, the system that you install it on shouldn't really matter since it's deployed using Docker. If you are win on Windows, uh, just be aware that you may need Windows Pro, depending on your system setup. If you want more information about that, you can check out the wiki on the GitHub page. So before you get started, you gotta make sure you have Docker installed and Docker Compose. As you can already see, I have both Docker and Docker Compose installed. We can now clone the repository and navigate into that directory. From here, we simply run Docker Compose up and that will pull all the images and start the application on localhost 500. I've already pulled all the images locally just to speed up this process, but when you initially start pulling the images, it may take a couple minutes to download all of them. Once you have successfully installed Cocoa Annotator, you'll be presented with a login page. From here, you can simply create an account and sign in. Once you have logged in, we can now begin creating our first data set. To do this, click the Create Data Set button and fill out the information about your data set. In this example, I will be creating a data set about cars. In this data set, they will have three labels, wheel, body, and window. Once you have successfully created a data set, a card will be shown containing the name of the data set and the labels associated with it. Clicking on the card will show all the images contained within that data set. As you can see, we have not added any images, so let's do that now. To add images to your data set, you simply navigate to where you downloaded the annotator, and in there you'll find a folder called Datasets. Clicking on that folder will now contain all of the data sets that are available within the annotator. If we click on our cars data set that we just created, we can then place our images in here to get added to the annotator. In this example, I've downloaded three images of cars off the internet that we'll be using to annotate. Now our images should be added to the data set. Let's go back to the web client. After refreshing the page, you can see that our images have now been populated. If these images didn't show up, you can always click the scan button, which will look through the directory and add any new additional files. We can hop into the annotator by simply clicking on an image. Once in the annotator, we can create annotations by clicking on the label that we'd like and then hitting the plus button. There are keyboard shortcuts that you will probably be accustomed to the more you use the application. Once you create an annotation, you can select the tools that are available on the left-hand side here. I'm gonna use the polygon for simplicity and we can simply just start annotating. Once this image is done, we can use the arrow buttons here to get, navigate to the next image. Now we feel our data set is done and we need to export it. We've annotated all the data we need to do and now we want to start training a model using it. We can go back to the data sets tab and click the export cocoa button. This will pop up a, a form where you can fill out which categories you'd like to specifically export. By default, it will export all labels, so we're gonna just do that. Once the export is completed, we can click the Exports tab and it will show us the download link of the annotations. We can download our annotation and then view it to visually inspect it. Our annotations look good and they're in the Coco format. We can now pass these annotation files into a model for training. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Stay tuned for more.